Every year I clean up my TrueNOS file server and figure out what I need to replace or upgrade. This year I wanted to replace a one terabyte hard drive with a two terabyte hard drive and expand my storage pool from five terabytes to six terabytes. I wasn't able to find two terabyte hard drives on sale at a price I wanted to pay for. And the dust bunnies put up a fierce fight. If you're new to my channel or haven't seen my previous videos, here's a brief overview of my TrueNAS file server. In 2015, I built a new file server for FreeNAS. Six one terabyte Western Digital Red NAS hard drives divided into three mirrored virtual devices, or VDEVs. The storage pool was three terabytes. In 2017, I bought a used three gigabit per second SAS control card for $15. I moved all the hard drives off the motherboard to the control card. In 2020, I replaced all the case spans and added two two terabyte Western Digital Red Plus NAS hard drives. The new mirrored VDEV expanded the storage pool from three terabyte to five terabyte. I also implemented a daily script to delete old files that I don't need and reduce my storage needs. In March 2022, I'd switched from free NAS on mirrored 16 gigabyte USB drives to true NAS on mirrored 120 gigabyte SSDs. True NAS was the replacement for free NAS and could no longer boot off of USB drives. In May 2022, one of my SSD drives failed, but I thought it was one of my one terabyte hard drives that failed. After replacing a one terabyte hard drive with a two terabyte hard drive, I had to replace the failed 120 gigabyte SSD. Since the other hard drive in that mirror VDEV was one terabyte, only one terabyte of the two terabyte hard drive was in use. My upgrade plan for 2023 was to replace the other one terabyte hard drive with a two terabyte hard drive. I haven't seen a two terabyte hard drive on sale for under $70 for a long time. I've seen four terabyte hard drives on sale for the same price as two terabyte hard drives. Since my three gigabit per second SAS control card limited hard drives to two terabytes, I started looking at the prices for six gigabyte per second SAS control cards. During the COVID-19 shutdown in 2020 and 2021, six gigabyte per second SAS control cards cost $300 or more. When I look at six gigabyte SAS control cards last year, Amazon and Newegg had them for $100 or more. This year I bought a six gigabit per second SAS control card for $40 from Newegg. A drop-in replacement for the three gigabit per second SAS control card. I had to rearrange the SAS to set up breakout cables from the back of the old card to the top of the new card. I used a one millimeter wax cotton cord to lace the breakout cables. That looked cleaner than using plastic ties or Velcro straps. Cable lacing was a technique I learned when I studied electronics at the community college in the early 1990s. That's how cable management used to be back in the day. What's next for my TrueNAS file server? I'd still need to replace a one terabyte hard drive with a two terabyte hard drive and expand the storage pool to six terabytes. If I can find a two terabyte hard drive on sale. Let me know what you think about my new upgrades for the TrueNOTS file server in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.